what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we're going to be talking about Candyman, since this is the month of the Candyman film coming out and the cost is candy man the spiritual sequel they've been referring to it as to the 1992 uh classic horror film candy man that starred tony todd as the titular villain and virginia madsen as this college student heather lyle or helen lyle rather that was doing a thesis on urban legends and of course that brought her into the path of Candyman, walking through the town or the urban area of cabrini green so on and so forth i'm sure we all know the story we know how that film ended spoiler alert for anyone who hasn't seen that film again that movie's been out for several decades at this point but at the end of that film you have helen saving uh anthony mccoy who who is the son of Anne marie who we meet early in the film she's actually returning in the the updated film the sequel and played by the same actress vanessa williams i believe her name is and she saves anthony from the fire that we see at the end of the original film and she manages to get anthony back to his mother by the end of the film she dies they all gather to her funeral to pay their respects and one of the little kids jake drops the hook in her grave as a, as a sign of respect for what she did at the end of the at the end of the film with saving the, the little boy anthony who is now the grown up adult that we're going to be following in this new updated sequel played by yaha abdul and i just want to really talk real quick about how i think this movie will end so we know that we're supposed to have tony todd back we're supposed to have helen back because we know what helen actually became at the end of the original she ended up becoming a legend herself becoming one of Candyman's victims and ultimately gaining the immortality that he has and we saw her first victim was her dis disloyal dishonest husband trevor so then jumping into this updated sequel Candyman 2021 again directed by nia da costa jordan peele had a part to do with the script along with nia and anthony is now grown up he has now gone on to be this struggling artist it looks like based off the trailers in these in this upcoming film and something happens as seen in the second trailer he comes in contact with this local guy in the in the new updated cabrini green area and he tells him this modified story about Candyman, how Candyman would pass out candy around to the local kids the police would of course be looking for someone else who was committing some crimes and they associated those crimes with the wrong person the local candy man he was killed unjustly and so he became another one of those urban legend stories just like the story that we first learned about in the 1992 film that heather first heard or helen rather helen first heard at that dinner she was having with trevor and one of his colleagues and her friend bernadette how Candyman was the son of a wealthy slave etc etc he conceived with a with a uh, a white man's daughter got her pregnant that of course was not acceptable back in those times he ended up getting killed as a result and that's where his legend started and then now since he was kind of like the starting point his story isn't the only story because again there's references to this hive mentality the the story we're getting is just another version of the local Candyman myth just like how Helen is another version of the local Candyman myth. We haven't seen Tony Todd in full-fledged costume anywhere in this trailer or the first trailer that came out last year when the film was supposed to come out in June. We haven't seen Helen as far as I know. Some people are are, miscons are, are assuming Helen is one of these ladies walking around in the museum shown throughout the trailer. That's not Helen. That is not Helen. That's some other character doesn't even resemble virginia madsen but i know that that the actress that was cast to play helen again of course is not virginia madsen unfortunately but helen tony todd's character at some point they're going to be shown in this film and we know that anthony being the struggling artist that he is he's going to get told this narrative and then we also see in the trailer he gets bitten by a bee so after this bee bite we also see in the trailer something's happening to his hand and it would appear that through some new macabre like artists artistry that he's going to put on display he's going to be portraying 
the actual Candyman story that I told to him. He might even have dreams or visions related to old Candyman myths involving Daniel and his encounter with that um, with that artist and his daughter back in the back in the um, earlier centuries where he got killed and had the honey honey pl splattered all over him and had his hand cut off and he might draw Daniel. He could also draw Helen and her demise that happened at the end of the original film. But then that leaves us with at what point is something tragic going to happen to Anthony as a result that leads to him coming face to face with the characters Helen and Daniel, like I'm predicting will happen at the end of the film. So what I think will happen is at the end of the film, when we finally get to that part in the film where it looks like Daniel is in a church setting. And something's happening where the torch of the Candyman legend is now being passed on to him. That might be the scene where Helen and Tony Todd will finally appear in full body form in the camera for their little small brief cameos to us. Anthony will have his hand permanently removed. He'll become the Candyman myth because of what will happen to him at some point in this film something wrong is going to happen to anthony as a result of the murders that are happening in the film and he'll be unjustly killed and then from there he will become the new candy man and so at that point in time that's when we'll see helen tony todd's character and anthony once again reunited for the very first time since the since the events that happened at the end of the 1992 film when anthony was still just a little boy and they'll all be together again for that little brief family reunion if you want to look at it like that and then anthony will just be another urban legend that will live on through cabrini green because of what is going to happen to him at some point during this film anthony is not going to make it out of this film alive it's it's more than apparent that that's going to be the case because of what we know happened to helen and because of what we know happened to other people that were in these situations such as daniel himself and the actual candy man story that's going to be told to anthony at some point throughout this film but let me know what you guys think about how i think the movie will end down in the comment section below if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course if there's any movies news or reviews i'm going to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video